Holy Mary, now we crown you, honored Queen of all our race. Noble Virgin, may our tribute win your love and gain as grace. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters in Christ, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. servants and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope faith and charity they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit God forever and ever Amen A reading from the beginning of the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The words of Jeremiah, son of Hilkiah, of a priestly family in Anathoth, in the land of Benjamin. The word of the Lord came to me thus. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I dedicated you, a prophet to the nations, I appointed you. Ah, Lord God, I said, I know not how to speak, I am too young. But the Lord answered me, 
Say not, I am too young. To whomever I send you, you shall go. Whatever I command you, you shall speak. Have no fear before them, because I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Then the Lord extended his hand and touched my mouth, saying, See, I place my words in your mouth. This day I set you over nations and over kingdoms to root up and to tear down, to destroy and to demolish, to build and to plant. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will sing. I will sing of your salvation. I will sing of your salvation in you lord i take refuge let me never be put to shame in your justice rescue me and deliver me Incline your ear to me and save me. I will sing of your salvation. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety for you are my rock and my fortress oh my god rescue me from the hand of the wicked i will sing of your salvation for you are my hope oh lord my trust to god from my youth on you i depend from birth from my mother's womb you are my strength I will sing of your salvation My mouth shall declare your justice Day by day your salvation O oh God you have taught me from my youth until the present i proclaim your wondrous deeds i will sing of your salvation Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Come here, I go in mood. Nang iyong pag-ibi ka payapan at katarungan, Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. O 
On that day, Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat down, and the whole crowd stood along the shore. And he spoke to them at length in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path. The birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground where it had little soil. It sprung up at once because the soil was not deep. And when the sun rose, it was scorched, and it withered for lacks of roots. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. Whoever has ears ought to hear. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Whoever has ears ought to hear. This is what Jesus invites us to do, brothers and sisters, as we have heard today's gospel, when he teaches the crowds and his disciples at length in parables. The parables of Jesus are actually meant for his hearers, so that he teaches that listening is the first stage for the Word of God to take its effect in their lives. If we read further, if we continue to read this chapter in Matthew's Gospel, Matthew chapter 13, Jesus keeps on repeating the word here as he teaches the parable of the sower. But before he teaches them in parables, Jesus said, listen or hear this. In the middle of his teaching, he said, whoever has ears to hear ought to hear. And at the end of the parable, he said again, those sown in rich soil are the ones who hear the word and accept it and bear fruit. Brothers and sisters in Christ, the invitation to listen is intended for us, his hearers, so that we can understand the teachings of the Lord, accept them, and for them to take root in our hearts. Likewise, Jesus invites us to listen to his word with an open mind and heart so that the seed of the kingdom of God will grow and be made manifest in our lives and in this world. We notice in the parable that the seed grows depending on the soil. But if the seed does not grow well, nor does not grow at all, it is because of the soil, that is, the heart of the hearer. The Lord reminds us, brothers and sisters, that those who listen to his word and accept it will bear fruit abundantly. This only emphasizes the importance of listening. This can be true in the church, in the so-called synodal church. Listening is an essential step to dialogue, to our community discernment, and to our communion. We are exhorted to listen carefully to each other. For listening, is an essential step 
to dialogue our experiences and our needs as a church and to discern together what God is calling us to do. The church also reminds us that by listening to one another, we allow hope to flourish, inspire trust, bind up wounds, weave together relationships, awaken a dawn of hope, and learn from one another in our communion of life. That is why in our journey together as a church, we are to initiate a process of listening in which every person, each one of us, can participate and contribute in building up the kingdom of God. Brothers and sisters, when we learn to listen to each other, we will be able to cultivate good and fertile soil of relationships as people of God. When we learn to listen to each other, the love of God will bear fruits of peace, joy, and reconciliation. Do we want to be fruitful? Do we want to be productive, to bear fruit abundantly? The Lord invites us to listen to Him. Whoever has ears ought to hear. May our devotion to Senor Santo Nino help us become a listening church as we continue to sow the seed of God's kingdom and as we manifest ourselves to be instruments of His justice and love. Amen. Let us now all stand and we pray for all that we need. Because he became an eternal preacher of the kingdom of God, Jesus did not enjoy the security of home. He asked, The Word of God has an innate power to grow but needs good soil in order to bear much fruit. Let us pray that we may have a generous heart to receive God's Word. Our response for the petition, Lord, help us to bear much fruit. Lord, help us to bear much fruit. May the people of God hear the Word of God and accept it so that it will bear abundant fruits in their lives. We pray. Lord, help us to bear much fruit. May worldly care and anxiety not shake our trust in the Lord. May we hold on to God's word that has power to build us up and give us an inheritance among the saints. We pray. Lord, help us to bear much fruit. May the attraction of power, fame, and pleasure not snatch the seed that is planted in our hearts. May our faith be deepened so that it can resist the onslaught of trials and difficulties that choke our lives. We pray. Lord, help us to bear much fruit. May the internet and social communication be used to spread the good news of salvation rather than the virus of fake news, gossips, intolerance, and bigotry. We pray. Lord, help us severe and much fruit. That you may deem it worthy and beneficial to us that Teofilo Kamumot, venerable, be raised to the altar of saints. We pray. Lord, help us to bear much fruit. May we follow the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, who kept the word of God and pondered it 
it in her heart. We pray. Lord, help us to bear much fruit. Almighty God, your word is like rain that makes the earth fruitful. Make us live by your word so that we may bear a rich harvest of faith, hope, and love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice through hands with the praise and glory of His name, for good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was, justly, he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with us in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are filled with your glory. The sun in the highest, blessed is he, who comes in the name of the Lord? Hosanna, Hosanna, in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like that you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Who will proclaim good as O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again? Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, O Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us the trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For that is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but under the say the world and my soul shall be healed. of spiritual communion my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. And when the call of death arrives, Bid me come to see that I may praise thee with thy saints forever. Hear me, Jesus. Hide me in the walls that I may never leave thy side. From all the evil that surrounds me, defend me. And when the cold does rise, bid me come to see that I may praise thee with thy saints forever. Give me Jesus, hide me in thy wounds that I may never leave thy side. From all the evil that surrounds me, defend me. And when the call of death arrives, bid me come to think that I may pray, say, we thy saints forever.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those who have been imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessing of religious articles. Let us pray. God, by whose word all things are made holy, pour out your blessing on these religious articles and grant that anyone who uses them in accordance with your will and your law and with the spirit of thanksgiving may experience by your power health in body and protection in soul as they invoke your most holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Good morning. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because it's given Jesus Christ. He said, and now let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich because of what the Lord has done.